Beijing Computational Science Research Center was founded in August 2009. The center is a fundamental research organization focusing on computation. The goal of the center is to conduct basic and frontier research to attract talents worldwide, to promote academic exchange and collaborations, to engage management reform. We are building a unique infrastructure from scratch without any historical baggage. The center is very different from other places in China. We provide stable funding to research with high-performance supercomputer on site. We provide a compatible package with a salary and a benefit, for example, free housing. And the center has sole authority to make final decisions efficiently. The focus of the division of mechanics is mainly about fluid mechanics in many aspects. Low speed or high speed flows, system of very small or large incisors, and flow in and out of equilibrium. Our research is about modeling and simulation of various flow systems involving both simple and complex fluids. Supercomputers with numerical algorithms are the tools for us to carry out our research. The center has a supercomputer in-house, which is supported by a team of computer scientists and engineers. This center is a multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary research institute focusing on computation. This building houses scientists working in so many areas in physical sciences, including high temperature, superconductors and other quantum systems, quantum information and quantum computing, material and energy science, applied and computational mathematics, complex and bi biological systems, mechanics and algorithms. All these research scientists are interconnected by one common thread, computing. My research is focused on exploring novel functional materials for electronic and energy related applications and understanding their underlying physics and chemical process. We perform quantum mechanical calculations and inverse material design by using high performance computers and provide useful insights and new designing principles to accelerate the scientific discovery of real functional materials for light emitting diodes, solar cells, batteries, and spintronic devices. And this center is quite unique. It has stable funding resources to support fundamental research. I can train graduate students because we have a graduate school here. The center and the school is two sub-institutions of Chinese academic science. The staff and the faculty here can, can do the supervisor for the students in our school. In the scientific research in the school and in the center are also complementary. The research in the center may be faced to the forefront of the uh, science, but uh, in our school we should face the limited field uh, which is important in our uh, Chinese Academy of Engineering Physics. One unique thing about the center is that it provides opportunities for its junior uh, researchers to go to the top universities abroad and work with the experts wherever they are. With the support of CSRC, I spent half of my postdoc career at Boston University. This is a place where decisions in terms of funding can be taken very fast. This Chinese funding is generous enough so that it can actually bring my young uh, affiliates, students and postdocs from France to here and send students and postdocs from here to France so that these people meet, exchange, collaborate. So being the lead editor of Physical Review Letters is important for me also to be in China. The share of papers that we publish that come from China is growing rapidly and uh, of course there is competition with other journals. Active matter is my main field of studies which is what we physicists uh, use as a name for describing uh, the collective behavior of Again, objects, particles, things that move together. 
And that field, which is fast growing and relatively new, is still uh, relatively underdeveloped in China. And one of my missions here, with respect to the Chinese uh, government, in fact, uh, and my establishment here, was to promote, develop, uh, structure active matter studies in China by collaborating with experimentalists, by organizing workshops, and by talking to people. The center clearly attracts not only theorists, but also experimentalists like myself. And the reason why I choose to join the center is that not only I can have sufficient startup funding to support me to build my own lab according to my needs, but also I can have regular, stable grant each year to support my future research. I worked for many years in the U.S. and 15 years in Hong Kong. Most people of our center came back with foreign management experience. So naturally, we want to build a system of universal structure similar to systems in the U.S., U.K., and uh, Hong Kong. Young people can develop their careers here. Actually, the future is in young people's hands. It depends whom we attract, what they do here, and what scientific contributions they will make.